commentary, City of Culture, 2021. The headline that gripped the Midlands and indeed the nation last December. But even before the toller was announced, Coventry was already a city enriched by culture, talent and people from all backgrounds. And today we'll explore how Coventry's film scene has led to the rise of talented young filmmakers. We'll be talking to a local filmmaker, a film festival organiser and we'll be going behind the scenes with some third year media students on their final project for their degree. But before all that, here are the headlines. The upcoming Christmas film Nativity Rocks has been filming in Coventry for the last three weeks, with a giant Christmas tree surrounding Christmas stalls popping up outside of the cathedral. I was one of many last month who were almost fooled by the seasonal set, with recent snow adding to the scene. Nativity Rocks is the fourth instalment of the franchise and is set to release on the 28th of November this year. In other news, Coventry's Odeon Cinema has introduced screenings for people with autism. These screenings have the lights left on low, with the volume turned down, no trailers, as well as giving the visitors the freedom to move around the cinema freely and interact with one another. Recently, Behind the Lens visited a student-run film festival in the local university pub, The Phoenix. The organisers were selling tickets to the event to raise money for the charity Mind. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. We chose the Phoenix uh, to hold our event because it's a very local venue to the students and the event is aimed at the students, so uh, it's just nice and close. So we chose to do an event to showcase uh, like media students uh, me, like media projects because uh, we don't really get to see them a lot. We know that a lot is, be, is created around the university and we never really get to see a lot of it so we just want to give them a, a bit of a footstep into like showcasing their videos outside of the university. My name is Leroy Da Silva and my film is Karate Kid. The showcase is to sort of uplift and just show more independent filmmakers films so I thought I would insert my, or submit my film to the showcase so that um, other small filmmakers can get some inspiration from it. Welcome back, and I am sat here with Richard Wood, a local filmmaker from Coventry. So welcome, Richard. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself first. Uh, thanks for having me, Jack. Um, so, yeah, I'm a filmmaker based in Coventry and in Warwickshire as well. So. Um, I started off um, many years ago. I actually didn't go through the film education route. Yeah. Um, I went to the University of Manchester, came back to the area and got myself uh, a normal everyday job. And yeah. then from that job, um, I, I basically networked and found a film group in Coventry already set up, yeah. uh, which was called uh, Cool Shots. And then from that, we were making films every weekend. And then I just... Uh, they basically left the job and then started freelance and then been freelance ever since. Mixing in with a bit of education as well. I like to, I like to educate and yeah. um, share, share my knowledge with, um, with the young folks. So, um, and here I am today. Yeah, is it a company, the CFN? It's yeah, there, there is still a filmmaking group called Call the Shots. This is going back in the late 90s uh, up to the noughties and stuff. And it's the group that I learnt my filmmaking from. And uh, I wanted to bring that back because I've, I've gone away, I've had kids and it's, um, you know, I've done the family thing. And I want to kind of, by meeting the students that I've worked with at Coventry University, and I've built this network, uh, online network through Facebook. And yep. it's great online, but it's really good to meet face to face. Yeah. So we really need, we're kind of lacking that in the city. It's great to see what Cov Uni is doing with... Um, with the events and within their kind of within the bubble of Coventry University, yep. it was fantastic. But my my idea was to, would be to mix Cov Uni, all the colleges, anyone from college or uh, and anyone amateur, straight up to professional level. Yep. Everyone's welcome as long as you're interested in these little things, you know. Yeah. Um, That's pretty And cool. if you've got an idea, if you've got a passion, yeah. Then uh, so these meetups uh, are going to happen soon. Sure. Uh, details will be leaked to you. So how would people. anyone uh, get in contact with you, like through Twitter? Okay, or so Facebook? just Twitter, uh, Cov Filmmakers, all one word, and on Instagram, Cov, Fil Cov Filmmakers, all one word. Sure. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, thanks yeah. for coming. Uh, Thank so you. 
Uh, now let's take a look behind the lens, quite literally, with the student filmmaker George Kia Diaz on the set of his film Swipe. My name is Georgi. I'm a third year media production student and I'm from Bulgaria. So today we're filming the beginning scene of my short film that's called Swipe. Swipe is a short romantic drama film that follows the story of a young photography student who meets this girl at a party and tries to find her. It's a mix of films that I really liked and also a real life occurrences and stories that happened to me. The production process has actually been pretty stressful, but what I've learned is that if you schedule, schedule every day, each day from beginning to end, all your shots, all the scenes that you have to do, all the, all the B-rolls that you have to shoot as well, and the breaks, obviously, because the whole crew needs breaks. Arms, see, take one, and Action. My advice to the filmmakers out there is to start early and to start planning your shoots, have multiple ideas because you can combine them. Some of them are actually not going to work because of budget, location, people and even ethics. And also start networking from now, start meeting people and start thinking about people that you hang out with, what courses did they do, what kind of skills did they have, because some of them for example, people that do performance arts could actually act in your film. Uh, designers can make posters for your film and they can even make the intro logos and stuff like that. What a great insight. I'm now joined by Christopher Clark, who is one of the organisers of the International Commentary Film Festival and the International LGBTQ Film Festivals. Welcome, Chris. So tell us a bit about these festivals. What, like, what are they about? Uh, well, the International Comedy Film Festival is in November, and yep. that's over three nights at Ego, and uh, we have submissions from all over the world, yep. and there's no uh, limit to what you can submit in terms yeah. of the length of the film so you can have a short film of 10 minutes yeah. feature film documentaries and uh, music videos and animation and then in may we have the lgbtq international film festival and that's yeah. where we have the same sort of program but there's only over one yeah. day rather than two that's pretty cool so uh is there any kind of like message you want to put out like with these festivals it was about making it so that if you wanted to make a film in coventry you could and also, the, and if you wanted to screen your films here for uh, small filmmakers, you were at a, a venue in which to do it with. Because uh, it's like the Coventry City of Culture, is, there, is this going to be like part of a bigger thing now? Do like, you think it will promote the City of Culture? We were part of the bid, yeah. and um, yes, we are part of the, the cultural event in yeah. 2021. And um, by then, we will have more funding in place as well for marketing and for promotion. Uh, yes, so that's that's our overall plan and to go forward and to have yeah. a legacy as well So if anyone wanted to submit their films to the film festival, uh, how would they go about that? They would go to the Coventry Film Festival website and they will yeah. see that there are the icons there that they can then submit their films And we're cheap. It's ten pounds for a film uh, Wonderful. There you go. Uh, thanks for coming Chris today. Thanks Thank for you. coming uh, and I'm afraid that's what we got for today. A huge thank you to all our guests and we will uh, look forward to bringing you more Commentary's freshest film content next time. Until then, thanks for watching Commentary Behind the Lens. Goodbye. <laughs>